What's up everybody, today we're going to talk about depth of field. Depth of field is a photography term which is used to describe the focus between the nearest and the farthest object in an image. Depth of field is calculated based on a couple of things. One, the focal length, which is how far you are away from the subject. The aperture you're using, whether you're using a low aperture or a high aperture, and also the distance to subject. When you're using an aperture like f1.8 or f2.8, you've got a very narrow depth of field. So if you're taking a photograph of someone and your focus is right here on the eye, the things behind and in front will be out of focus. So that's really good for portraits, however it's very hard to get the, the subject bang on focus if you've got such a narrow depth of field. For example, if you're doing macro photography and you're taking a picture of a product, you're only going to have a small amount of the product in focus where the rest of it is going to be out of focus. On the other hand, if you're using f11 or f20 or something like that, more of the images are going to be in focus. So when you're taking a portrait, you're going to have your person and your background in focus. And when you're taking product shots, for example, you're going to have more of the product in focus, either the foreground and the background or the actual product itself. So depending on what sort of image you want to capture and how much detail you want to capture in the subject and or the background, it depends on what sort of depth of field you're going to use. So if you want to make a subject pop out of a background, then you're going to use a narrow depth of field, so f2.8, f1.8, even something like f3.5 or 5.6. It all depends on what focal length you're using and how far away they are from the background too. So for example, on this video, I'm shooting at f2.8. As you can see, the background's quite in focus as well, and I'm in focus. However, if I take a step closer, I'm going to be in focus. And see there, the background's jumped out of focus because I'm closer to the lens, so therefore it's going to focus on me. So shooting at low aperture like f2.8, it doesn't always mean that you're going to get a blurry background. It's the other factors to take into consideration as well. So the distance from the camera and also the focal length. And the video as well, I'm shooting on a 16mm lens, so it's quite a wide lens. So when you're shooting at f2.8, it's going to be more of it in focus anyway. Whereas if I was shooting on a 70 200 or something like that, then when I'm zoomed in, even at 70mm, the background's just going to chuck it out of focus at f2.8. So that's the explanation of depth of field and how you can use that in photographs to portray the image that you want to portray. Yeah.